Everyone needs these. What this is right here is called a black mist or a diffusion filter. Specifically, I got the KNF diffusion filter 1 8 and 1 over 4 for a combination price of $89. So what a diffusion filter is, it's basically a specialty filter that makes your images much, much softer. Here's a couple examples on the screen showing you just a different ways to use it and it creates just a more cinematic vibe. Here's a couple of reasons why every filmmaker needs black mist or diffusion filters. The first point is it adds a vintage style to your videos and lenses. Now, what I mean by this is cameras and lenses and specifically are starting to become much, much sharper and it kind of takes the digital edge off it. Some professional filmmakers I know actually use vintage lenses to make their image just more soft, which is my second point. It makes the image overall more softer. It takes off that digital edge and it just makes it seem more natural and just more cinematic, some may say. And the last big pro to it is it blooms the highlights, which a lot of films that you probably watch use a black mist or diffusion filter on it because it's able to bloom those highlights, make it kind of blend and bleed into the main scene and just look a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more dramatic and definitely adds a style to the video. But there's a couple cons of using a black mist or diffusion filters. The first con is it's baked into the image. When you are putting a filter on your camera, whatever you're getting out of it is what you're gonna get out of it. You can't take that back in post. Secondly, it is actually a specialty filter, not an all the time filter, especially when you're using the one over four, one over two filters, it's definitely gonna bloom your highlights like crazy. But if you use the one over eight, it's a little bit more subtle of a look. And I personally use the one over eight about 80 to 90% of the time since I just enjoy that look. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video and you made it to this part, Let's comment, dang, pineapple on pizza? And then put a little question mark and confuse everyone else that hasn't watched this part of the video. You know, let's do it, it'll be fun. And if you wanna check out this video right here on five ways to get cinematic footage with 8-bit cameras, click right here. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so check it out, maybe they're right. Let me know if they're not. Anyways, until next time guys, peace.